Disaster saves. Never really know just what you're gonna get. It might look okay, and you find out it really isn't. Like this one. This one was sent in by Dave Long, and he writes, Howdy! Just picking the game back up after watching some of your videos and ended up in a terrible spot in this campaign, okay? At one point, I had full armies and was working on my fifth while holding off Germany on the front line. Planned a mostly defensive campaign, so went mass assault. That's your first mistake. Built a nice alliance with Poland, Romania, and Yugoslavia, and was handling the axis nicely. And when I deleted Hungary after taking the focus, the Soviets justified on Poland, set up a few armies on the Romanian border and along the river line in Poland when I made a big blunder. I forgot to join the war when the Soviets declared for about two months. After that thing snowballed and I find myself in a situation that might be unsalvageable. My army is in tatters. Well, what would you do here? Can this be saved? Cheers, Dave. All right, Dave, let's see if we can save this. Iron Man mode is on, historical AI focus is on. Yeah, let's see if we can do something here. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so you formed the Czech Entente. You're fighting both Axis and Soviets. I'm gonna need to reorganize your army, but I'm gonna check some other things first. So, ooh, already on service by requirement. Ooh, that's bad. I mean, you could have hired somebody else. Then again, you really don't have the world's greatest political cabinet, I guess. Most of this looks okay. What are your divisions looking like? Good fodder, decent mountaineers. I like this. I like this very much. I would possibly get rid of cavalry recon if you're having some supply or just issues getting your troops equipped. Other than this, this looks fine. I'm gonna reorganize the military. I'm just gonna park everyone on Czechoslovakia itself. I am sorry, Poland, Romania, other allies. I'm abandoning everyone who's not me and the plan will be to just hold until the Allies hurt Germany enough. We'll see what we can do with the Soviets. We could go for equal access guarantees, get more infantry equipment, even more production efficiency. But I'm thinking forts. Get the Polish lineup, because I know Zaulzi does not have any forts. Eastern Slovakia could use some more forts, so... I'm just gonna go with the Polish line. If we can finish this, I'll do the internal redoubts, then equal access guarantees, and then we'll see. Maybe pick up some bonuses to the air, to the infantry equipment, whatever, as long as we can stay alive. Some of these divisions really need to pull out. This division's completely encircled. I'm just gonna destroy it. Yeah, we don't need improved anti-tank. I'll leave one on there, just in case, because I think we're gonna get exile divisions from our allies. They will capitulate, we'll get exile divisions, and the AI tends to make anti tank so yeah, I'll just leave a factory on it. Infantry equipment's good. This is good. This is good. Uh, Toad anti-air, very good. Trucks, sure. Casts and fighters. I'm going to put a bit more on fighters, less on cast, because I, I want fighters on interception just to shoot down enemy bombers. This will have to do for now. Overall, not bad. I will be building more military factories. I'm going to be building a couple of synthetic refineries as well. We will be short a couple of build slots here, but mm, tech should fix it. I do think I got most of my divisions out of all of their precarious situations. I've got decent defensive lines. I should be able to hold this front. Oh, you didn't go mass assault. You went grand battle plan. Oh, my friend, I like you a lot more already. Okay, grand battle plan is a game changer compared to mass assault for defensive warfare. This should work. This should definitely work. Oh, we're already getting pushed. Already getting pushed. Oh, that's fine. Nope. Oh, Germany occupies Western Poland. Well, oh, that should ease some of the Soviet pressure. And these divisions are now how encircled. I'm suddenly a lot of guns short. I have to equip those Polish divisions, which is a bit of a problem. Not much, but a bit. Oh well, at least there's extra divisions there now. Okay, we finished the Polish line. I'm gonna do the internal redoubts, more forts, and then we'll see. Should be able to hold though. Alas, Romania tried. At least that's another 12 divisions. Okay, I'll have to equip them, but at least my industry is still sort of intact. Speaking of industry, well, not much else I can do other than crank the speed to max and wait for this all to play out. All of my allies have been destroyed, Yugoslavia is about to go as well, and we'll be an island of democracy. Ooh, I can invite someone to my fa- Oh, baby! FDR, yes please, welcome to the Czech Entente! Oh, the US of A is in, ladies and gentlemen. The Czech Entente grows larger. Sure, they know we are a great ally, so we're immediately going to call that- Oh, they won't? Why is this an offense? Offensive war. Are we the attackers? Maybe they'll join ours eventually? Oh, yeah, Poland called them in. 
Okay, that's good. I see an opportunity here for a little bit of a counterattack. Try to push them back just a little bit to the river here. It would be a great opportunity if we can pull it off. Oh, looks like we'll pull it off. Okay. I mean, our defensive situation's really comfortable right now. It feels really comfortable, let's say. Oh, there goes Yugoslavia. Okay. We'll have more divisions that we also need to equip. My economy cannot handle this. But just overall defensive situation, reasonably comfortable. Bubbles are still green. The enemy launches the occasional attack attack but we are winning it's just supply really from all the bombing that could possibly give us trouble you know i might as well just upgrade all of our railways to the maximum level to make sure that even if they bomb a few of them out uh at least supply f keeps flowing well, the rest of this game is probably me gonna be sitting here micromanaging the defense as much as i can until we get rid of this deficit while we have this deficit most of our troops are not fully equipped and i am not attacking like i know the german line is very thin but the moment i step out of the comfort zone of my sudetenland i I will get crushed by German air and all the troops are devoting to other fronts right now. This is not the world's most compelling gameplay, I am aware. I could possibly build another radar station, giving me some overlap and covering my entire territory. Radar is really good for achieving air superiority. And we've already taken 700,000 losses. That must have been quite the harsh early campaign because this defensive war has gone reasonably well. We are not in the position to push out ourselves and we won't be for quite a while so i am really hoping we can get some allied support eventually they'll have to reach us first though oh i see u.s troops arriving in the southern balkan i also know that nothing's gonna come of this the terrain is horrible the supply is horrible but you know they're making an effort but considering most of our equipment deficit is fixed i'm gonna start training a couple of divisions don't know if i'll ever get them deployed but a uh, man can try we need to replenish our losses just make sure every Everybody's ready. And if I do find myself with, you know, enough troops to do some counterattacking, we'll do just that. Oh, Belgium's in. Please, Belgium, save the Allies. France needs your help. So do the Dutch. My God, we did it. We've established green air over Czechoslovakia. That's a start. I can hold for as long as I need to now. I am very much stable. The Allies are advancing in northern Germany. Ooh, Allied naval landing to the north. They've liberated Lithuania. I'm gonna start slow and steady offensive operations operations edge my way back into territory here and there whenever i see an opportunity i'm just gonna take it soviet front here is very weak so i'm gonna exploit that oh glory to czechoslovakia every attack successful so far oh, i just noticed the supply hub in breslau isn't actually connected to my network oops oh um oh there goes japan okay so we got big china and a japanese puppet also on our side okay so i've graciously asked the americans for some of their divisions they've granted me 24 and i'm gonna use them to uh push into the soviet union or at least try if this, if the americans won't use their troops wisely i'll try to do it myself keep building up my army mobilizing more men i am going for it i think i have an opportunity well i will have an opportunity i am seeing some weakness in germany every now and then i want to exploit that when i get the opportunity i should try and assault on budapest next when i can muster some men and a bit of an air force if i take that that's the local supply hub that's going to be a blow to the axis and now to destroy the soviet units lingering at our border my idea dumb as it sounds is to push through towards the river here below torun that effectively cuts off the soviet uh well german divisions here i don't think they have military access through the soviet union they do not so in theory i could crush this german pocket at the expense of me coming up against the soviet border but i do have the troops now to man a regular border so i think i can make that happen excuse me while i embark on a campaign of stupidity this should be funny if nothing else uh that effectively cuts off this entire section of the german front it is a pretty severe blow to the germans i like that the germans are suffering here like all of these troops are cut off we will destroy them there's no doubt about that now well, poland's back on the map but i think we somehow broke the game the game still thinks poland is 100 towards capitulation even though they control most of their country again i don't know why also when i select like warsaw here which we well poland completely controls it still says owner german reich it's a little lame that poland's not getting 
getting the recognition it deserves. All right, that is the last remaining German forces in the region being taken out. Let's just focus on taking out Germany while I try to just hold off the Soviets. This is getting pretty intense. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The Czech army achieving victory on all fronts. We're pushing south. We're pushing north. If I can reach the sea and link up with, well, any allied troops in the region, I can cut these fronts in half and I can reorganize my front line into something a little bit more coherent. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh my god, the amount of divisions the Germans are going to lose here. Well, it's over for them either way. It's just very satisfying seeing this kind of uh, destruction. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gone. They are hella gone. We've also taken Linz. That's it. Germany falls. We're safe. Also, where did Poland go? What the hell? Well, this has to be one of the dumbest peace deals I've ever had. Barely got anything out of it. Poland lost land despite having done so much good work. The Allies stole Silesia out from under me, so Silesia is now a thing. Well, with all the additional manpower on the front now, as well as Allied backing, because I do believe the Allies are all- yep, the Allies are also at war with Mr. Stalin. It shouldn't be too difficult to start pushing against the Soviets. The Soviets are not that strong. Let's see how my numbers will do against the Soviet juggernaut. Romanian Corps making a push on Kiev from the south. Maybe we'll reach it? It would be a big blow to the Soviet supply chain if we can take Kiev. It is a pretty major thoroughfare for supply. Yes! The Romanian Corps has taken Kiev. Oh, that's nice. It looks like Japan naval invaded from the south and our American boys have continued pushing. If I can link my boys up in Zitomir, I'll have a massive pocket here that I've created using nothing but shitty infantry. <laughs> Come on, link up. Link up. Oh, they're really, really not happy about this. Okay, look at that. Oh, love to see it. We were at 2.2 million before we closed all this. I want to see what we're at when we're done here. 2.8 million casualties now. That was a 600,000 manpower pocket. Right, it took us long enough, but we've cut the Soviets to ribbons. Mostly. They still have a significant army, but most of it's not equipped. They're already well on their way towards capitulation. It is costing me a ton of equipment, but there's nothing left to do but let this game run until the Soviets capitulate. If I get a spicy pocket in for you guys, I'll leave it in the video, but it's very likely we'll just cut to the peace deal if it's just an endless grind. When you're getting invaded by the Netherlands, you have a problem. So the Netherlands have invaded, Italy has invaded, the US has invaded, Germany has invaded, Czechoslovakia has invaded, and the state of Japan has invaded. Oh, I hate having to fight the Soviet Union without being able to do collaboration governments. It just takes forever. Ever. Ah, it's a little more difficult to achieve these encirclements with infantry, but it's not impossible. And it's still super satisfying whenever it works out. I think that's it. Massive lag spike, and there we go. Now time to cook up a disgusting peace deal, and then let's see. And with that, I present to you a peace deal that will make you want to vomit. Oh my god, it's disgusting. On the bright side, the Baltics are back. Apparently, the US decided they needed Karelia more than the Finns do. Boy, there's a lot of releasable nations in here. And it's a patchwork of small, independent countries. I think Azerbaijan came out of this quite well. And we've got ourselves a Ukraine, a Belarus. All in all, it's just plain horrible. But the most important thing is the Czech Entente stands and the Czech Entente is enormous. So um, that is another victory, another disaster save brought to a satisfying conclusion. It took us four years, but victory was achieved. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content and check out this video. I'm sure you'll love it.